Hi everybody, Dean from EUJuices.com. As you can see, we've got an Angel Juicer video going for you today. Um, but before we get started with that, we want to mention a quick word about the company itself that actually manufactures the Angel Juicers. They date back to 1982, where back then they were still, as today, only dealing with dual gear juicers. And they brought it to the line where we're looking at right now. And the first thing I'd like to do is really go into detail about the, the differences. We get a lot of questions about that. So let's go ahead and get started here. Off to my right, your left, the 5,500, 7,500, and the 8,500. And if we start with these two, um, the 5,500 and the 7,500, both of them permanently measure the voltage which is needed to actually juice. And um, what happens is when it comes to overfilling in order to actually protect the sieve much better, what will happen is that the 5,500, when it comes to overfilling, it will beep, stop automatically, and the 7500 will do the same it will beep and then stop automatically where it will then go automatically into reverse taking the pressure instantly off of the sieve where here with the 5500 you're going to have to manually click on reverse to uh, have that happen for you and if we move over here 7500 and 8500 the exact same thing measures the voltage beeps stops and goes automatically to reverse. Um, difference between the 7,500 and the 8,500 is the grade of stainless steel which is being used. This is the so-called SUS316, which is basically the same type of steel that would be used in, for example, um, uh, uh, restaurants or in really high quality um, uh, cutlery or in, in, in hospitals as well. Uh, the next thing is that what I want to mention is where are they the same and where they are the same is if you take a look you'll see the size it's ex exactly the same when it comes to cleaning no difference is there and when it comes to juice yield ditto it's not like you're going to be getting a little bit more juice yield with the 8500 it's the same all the way through okay all right, going into detail a little bit further with the auto reverse function, we're going to do something a little bit radical here. Um, we want to show you exactly what happens when the, the juicer is overfilled with the 5,500 and with the 7,500. So let's go ahead and get this turned on. Ready for this? Okay, that worked quite well with the 5500, did its job quite well as it's supposed to, auto stop, and now we want to do the same with the 7500 and see how it works with the auto stop and auto reverse. Ready? All right, that was quite radical, um, I have to say so myself, but we really did it just to show a point. So kids, don't go destroying mom's new angel juicer when she gets it at home. What we want to do now is show you some of the accessories, attachment, attachments, some of the, the, the options which you can buy for the angel juicer and really see what they're all about as well. So let's have a look at that. All right, so what we have here is uh, a little bit of separation between what's included when you purchase an angel juicer and what is available as an option. Of course, you get the motor, motor block. Um, the sieve, which is included, is the fine sieve. Uh, the fine sieve is, of course, good for everything. Uh, hard vegetables, soft fruits, leafy greens, berries, no, no limits, no nothings. Um, the two stainless steel gears with the cleaning brush and the wooden pusher. Here you have the scraper which uh, is designed for getting the, the, the coarser stuff off of the screen. Here is the sieve spray protector which then just goes on top of the of the sieve itself. Power cord of course, the instruction manual in your language and then the uh, juice and trust, uh, pulp containers. That's, that's included with, with every angel juicer that you get from us.
Um, when we come over here to the options now, this is the course screen. The course screen is used for basically for softer fruits. Uh, and your, your, what you're getting here is, of course, a little bit more pulp inside of your uh, uh, juice, thicken it up for you. And this is the so-called blank sieve, or the, the peanut butter sieve, which uh, Angel Juicer likes to call it. And you can use this for making stuff such as nut butters, or um, it works okay also for sorbets, baby food, anything along these lines if you want to puree it. Um, new in the program is the so-called premium brush, which is um, uh, supposed to get it a little bit easier for the cleaning done for you. And this is something which I personally recommend for everybody that has an angel juicer. And this is the wooden silicone pusher. And the reason that this thing is really almost um, more than useful for everybody that has an angel juicer is um, it's not a question of if it's going to happen, it's a question of when it's going to happen. When you get your f softer fruits, which are maybe a little bit overripe, best example, um, pineapples, um, mushy apples and stuff like this, kiwis, tomatoes, what happens is, is these softer fruits and fibers tend to, to get into the, into the holes of the sieve. And with the wooden silicone pusher, I can show you this really quick, it actually fits perfectly into the filling chute. So three, four times up and down fast with this and it will plunge everything through and you're able to keep juicing without uh, any interruptions. The last thing is the stainless steel juice container. Some people prefer to get away from plastic and move over to stainless steel. If that's the case, this is available for you as well. Okay, when we take a closer look at the, the stainless steel gears on the Angel Juicer, you can see that it's broken down into three stages. Here you have the first stage, the second stage, and then again the third stage. And the, going back to the first stage, this is basically for grinding and cutting the pieces into smaller pieces uh, and is responsible for about 60% of your juice yield. If you move forward here to the second stage, the second juicing stage, this is responsible for about 30% of your juice yield. And you can see here this little ring which goes around, uh, it's called the stop ring. And this is there in order to build up a little bit more pressure so you're able to get even more juice. Then you have the third and final stage, and this is going to really get the last drop out of everything you're juicing and is responsible for about 10% of, of your juice yield. All right, so let's see what this, this baby can do. Get some apples juiced. We're gonna be juicing a few things today for you. Some, some leafy greens as well. Um, doing a little bit of almond milk also, so you can see how that works. Works really well. Okay, so that was a glass of apple juice. Let's move on to something else now. So here we go with some oranges. Who doesn't like that? Okay, we should be closing on a glass here. Okay, as you can see, we're going to do some leafy greens, or let's say longer fibered uh, produce. And this is something that just about every juicer has a really tough time dealing with, where the angel juicer does a really good job with it. And we'll have a look at that right now. 
and you don't even need to really use the, the pusher, which I might add, I'm still using the pusher with the, with the silicone ring and the reason for this is because whenever I'm doing leafy greens, I'll almost always tend to use this. It just works out a lot better for me. That's how easy it works with leafy greens. Uh, Self-feeding basically as well. And you'll also notice, I mean, if you have any experience with juicing leafy greens yourself, you'll see that um, one thing which the angel juicer is really good at when it comes to that is that you hardly see any foam buildup whatsoever. And that's a good sign always. Look at that chlorophyll. So you say tomato, I say tomato. Let's see the results. Nice glass of tomato juice for you. Okay, oh, we've got some almonds here. Gonna make some almond milk. One thing before we get started is that when you're making almond milk, you definitely need to soak the almonds overnight. Good uh, rule of thumb would be between six and eight hours. Just let it soak, and then after you've had them soak, uh, you might want to rinse them, <clears throat> rinse them off before you go ahead and do it. And with the angel juicer, what you want to do is just take a you know a smaller handful. That's about good enough right, right there. Go ahead and turn it on. Put your nuts in there first. <coughs> and then give it a little tap and a little bit of water. Feeding it down. A good ratio is something like three to one. Three nuts, one part water. You can already see it's starting to give off a really nice color. Nice milky color. And we are using the fine screen, so that's something you might want to also try as well. It works much better. A little more water. Should be getting close on a glass here. One more. I mean, if you really have a close look at the the remains of what's coming out of the pulp outlet here I mean you can see how really dry it is you know it's doing an excellent job with that okay so just finishing up now with the almond milk and after this we're gonna go ahead and do some cleaning up so you can see what comes your way when it comes to actually having to clean the angel juicer There you go. Okay, a little trick for, for you already owning an angel juicer is sometimes when you juice uh, really softer fruits, things that are maybe overripe, when you open the clamp to remove the sieve and the, the dual gears, you'll notice it's built up some suction inside there and you have to pull and pull and it might be a little bit uh, hard to remove. If you just go ahead and leave the machine turned on in the back, open the clamp fully and then hit the start button. It moves directly off of the motor base and you see here also there's a magnet inside of here so once it moves away for like maybe one and a half two centimeters it will turn itself off automatically so fully safe now let's go over and clean the gears are probably the easiest thing to clean for sure you know uh, not much involved at all just get it under running water run a brush across it and you're done Steve 
cover. Ditto, quick once over with the brush. You're done. And of course the sieve. I personally removed the sieve uh, silicone ring just, just to protect it a little bit better. Okay, that's about it. All right, going over to pineapples now, just about everybody's favorite. Um, I can tell you that it's one of my favorites, but I also know that the majority of the juicers um, have a really tough time, not only with the uh, long fibers on leafy greens, but also with the long fibers on pineapple, for example. And the reason for that is that Combined with the softer consistency of the fruit, which we're which are actually juicing here, it will tend to block up the sieve. And this isn't just something which is prone to happen with the angel juicer. It's going to happen with pretty much every juicer. And this is why we've gone ahead and switched over, um, as uh, uh, also suggested, over to the to the coarser screen. So let's go ahead and have a look at these results. And as well, I need my my pusher, my pusher. Here we go. I've gone over to the pusher again with the silicone ring for the same reason that you're able to plunge it through there once it gets going. You can see in the beginning with any juicer, really with any juicer, there's always going to be a little juice that's going to come out in, in the front before the actual uh, pulp starts coming out. And that's, that's, that's the reason for this is because it really needs to build up the pressure inside there first before you're able to get the good results. But in, now you'll see the, the really dry uh, pulp coming out. So it looks like we're closing in on one glass here. One or two more pieces. Maybe something's left over that I can drink too. Peanuts and angel juicer, peanut butter. Let's go ahead and see how the results are. Um, first things first, we've again changed sieves. We've gone to the blank sieve or the peanut butter sieve. Nothing more to it other than <clears throat> getting your peanuts in there, pushing them down into the, to the gears. Since we're using the blank sieve, everything is processed and brought all the way forward to the to the pulp ejection where the peanut butter is going to be showing itself any second now. There we go. It really does depend on the peanuts that you're using. You know, I've, I've made peanut butter before where um, the, the, the oil consistency of the nuts was really dry, so it gave a really, really dry con texture, whereas this, this is pretty good, I have to say. Maybe it could be a little more oily, but it's, it's not bad. And the further you move along with the, with the peanuts, the, the better the consistency gets. So if you see at the beginning, okay, that's way too dry, wait a little bit. Keep working and see what the consistency is. And if you need to get the consistency even a little bit finer, there's no problem letting it go through a second time. So oh, there we go. Simple as that. All right, we've got one kilo of carrots on both sides. Vertical juicer from Huram, twin gear juicer from Angel Juicer. This is Stan. Ciao. Let's do this.
last one. All right, so we've seen the results from one kilo of carrots on both sides. Now we want to do something a little special. Uh, we want to take the pulp from both juicers, switch and juice them with the, with, the, with the other juicer. So let's do that. There you go. We're getting there. Okay, seems to be all pushed through now. The angel gives you one full glass more. There you go. Alrighty then, that's that's it from our side, I guess. Uh, really, we've been juicing now for about five hours, five hours, I guess. So, if you're asking yourself what happened here and what happened here, there's your answer. You know, it's been standing around for at least three hours for sure, and you know what happens there with oxidation. So, thank you for viewing for sure. And if you have any questions or comments, you know how to get a hold of us at eujuicers.com. See you next time. Bye bye. So, you say tomato, I say tomato, let's see the results.